Good day dear chess lovers, Sonan here and in today's video I want to share with you a fantastic game played at 2021 Russian Team Championship Premier League. On the wide side is Russian chess grandmaster Maxim Matlakov and his opponent is Russian chess international master Alexander Truskavetsky. This game is from round 1 and Matlakov opened up with e4. Truskavetsky's answer was c5. Sicilian defense is on the board against which white is choosing. Nezhmedin of Rosolimo attack, leaving black with a wide range of options. Here black can proceed with g6 or d6 or knight f6, queen b6, e6. In the game we have e6. Black is freeing the e7 square for the knight and is making it easier to go for d5 advance with the intention of later recapturing on d5 with the e pawn. White castled kingside, knight g e7, d4. Other popular alternative is playing rook e1, and in this case white is freeing the f1 square for the bishop, thus saving it for the future battle. Instead in the game we have d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, queen b6. An exchange on c6 followed. Bishop d3. This is a line which Kirwana and Shirov were successfully employing. Knight g6, Black is opening up the dark squared bishop's diagonal to complete the development. Bishop e7, meanwhile, White is establishing a morality bind, not allowing Black to go for d5, thus gaining space and activating the position. Knight c3, black castled kingside, knight a4, queen c7, c5. This knight move followed by c5 allowed white to restrict the movement of black's dark squared bishop. e5, bishop e3, strengthening the pawn on c5 and completing the development. Knight f4, bishop c4, rook goes on d8, queen f3, Knight e6, rook d1, rook b8. Uh, well, look, uh, by putting the rook on d8, uh, it seemed like that black wanted to make a move like d6, something which is very important and can allow black to activate his position. While in the game we have rook b8, still black's position remains somewhat cramped. b3, bishop f6. Uh, another strange move, still d6 is something which is worth of taking into consideration. But black neglected that move and now will pay a high price for it. Rook goes on d6, but we can see that already white has completely demoralized black's position. Bishop goes back on e7, this time to kick away the rook from the 6th rank, but Matlakov was not even interested in moving his rook and he played rook a d1. Actually, according to Stockfish, bishop takes f4 is stronger. Yeah, this can give white better chances. Uh, but in the game we have rook d1. In the line showed earlier, you could first win a pawn and then proceed with your game. But we have rook d1. Bishop takes d6. C takes d6. So black accepted the exchange sacrifice, but now white is getting a powerful wedge on d6, which is completely demoralizing black's position. There comes queen g5 hitting on d8, rook e8. And now a question arises, how should white proceed? Please pause the video and try to find white's next move. Ready? Of course, Matlakov is not even interested in capturing on f4. He just went for a direct kill and he made a staggering queen e7 move. How do you like this beauty, guys? As you know, I really adore queen sacrifices. And this is something which I'm really happy to see in 2021. Okay, black can't accept the queen sacrifice because after that pawn, after that move, white is getting an unstoppable passed pawn. As you know, the passed pawn is a criminal who should be kept under lock and key, right? Uh, that's why the chicken rook is kept. 
and white simply won the pawn on e5, knight e6, f4. No need to hurry, white is gradually intensifying the pressure. His three pieces are out of the game. King h8, f5. In return, black counterattacked, white queen. And it was in here that Matlakov made another fantastic move. Please pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? Here we go! Let's give a try and sacrifice this queen for the second time. F takes e6. This is majestic, right guys? If you want to accept the sacrifice, then just white will we move back the queen on g3. And white clearly stands better, right? Uh, so finally at this point black accepted the queen's sacrifice, although this is losing on the spot. Better was trying the luck with d takes e6, but still even in this case white is winning. Uh, in the game we have f takes e5, and there follows e7. Rook e8, rook f1, and after this move black resigned. There is a forced mate in 8 and there is no escape, the threat is rook f8 check. If you open up a loop for your king, then anyways, rook f8 check, and then bishop g8 check. If king g6, then check, another check, and then bishop c5, protecting the pawn threatening mate in 1. Or after king g, uh, bishop g8 check, if king h8, then check, rook e8, the threat is rook a j check, followed by a pawn promotion and a checkmate. That's why, yeah, finally, after rook f1, we have a resignation. Uh, just a marvelous game, and I'm sure that you enjoy it greatly. Feel free to share it with your friends. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.